Hi everyone. The other day I was at the store and I stumbled upon this package that you see right over here. The Sharpie S Gel Pen. We're going to try those out in this video. And that's going to be the main subject of the video. On to the left, you see a brand new pack of Pilot G2 pens. And what you see here on the left is what these pens are really known for. These major contenders you see right over here. So, let's dig into these Sharpie S gel pens, shall we? The package is very interesting and very presentable. So if you look at the package right over here, you can see how it looks like. And this is how the back looks like right over here. You can pause if you want. And I was at Walmart the other day and I found these on clearance for $3. So it kind of makes me wonder why they put these for $3. Which is pretty good because, on average, when you look at the Pilot G2 pens right over here, you can get a pack like this for $6. And by getting the Sharpie S2 gel pen for 3 bucks on clearance, I'm sure they have a regular price on that. We're not going to get into that into this video. Let's try these pens out, shall we? We have... A pad of paper open and we have the Sharpie S gel pen with the Pilot G2 0.7 so we're gonna test out these two pens and see which performs better now of course the main focus is the Sharpie S gel pen that's why uh, it's the purpose of this, this video but we're doing the Pilot G2 pen because it's a well-known pen out there. So I'm going to try it out right now as we speak. So looking at the Sharpie S gel pen, you can see it's got a really nice grip to it. Really, really, really nice. But honestly, it feels really hard. And these spiral grooves here, I don't know. Could you be comfortable writing with a pen like this? I don't know, but when you look at the Pilot G2 1.0 pen, now this grip is a lot, feels a lot more softer. Um, even though it's not anything compared to the Dr. Grip, like you saw earlier in the video, but at least this will suffice. All right, so let's write something here on a paper really quick. All right. Oh, that's another thing too. Make sure your little plastic tips that you see right over here, you get rid of that. So let's see if, see if I can pull mine off as I'm doing everything one-handed. Oh, God. I know with the pilot pens, the little tips that you see there, the, that little plastic tip that you see there, you can easily pull that off. But whoa, you can. Right off the bat, this pen is not a good pen to start writing with when it's brand new and it's got this removable plastic tip there that, that protects the ball point. Really impossible to remove. Wow. I am like, there. Finally got it off. Now we can start writing with it. That's crazy. Let's just, let's just shake the sucker a bit here. And let's see what we have here. All right. Okay. Oh, boy. Well, it's just a warm up. So let's try something else. Hmm. I 
kind of like the ink, the way it comes out. It's kind of a noisy pen to write with. But we try it with the Pilot G2 0 0.7 pen here. And let's see how that goes. Let's see how, how this writes in comparison. Wow, look at that right out of the box. And then well as you can see correct me if I'm wrong but let's just put this right here and let's just put this right here I'm not a professional at doing this. This is just something at a consumer level. But what do you think? What ink do you think looks darker? I think the Sharpies looks a bit darker than the Pilots. What do you think? Well, the decision is on you and you could draw your own conclusion. Just leave it down in the comments below. However, that is going to wrap up the video for today. For the Sharpie. S gel pen. If you haven't yet, please subscribe for, for more videos. Also, hit the bell for future notifications and on what you feel on this video, hit the like or dislike. And as you can tell on this 25th of December, Things are supposed to be quiet, but noisy, of course, because the day is almost over. This is why you hear the neighbors in the background there, the kids jumping around for joy. This is 270 EHA 19, simply saying, thank you for watching.